Get it, kid. Come on, Kenny. Get it. Get it. Press. Press. Put it up. What's up, guys? Back for another video. Um, the beginning clip of this video, I showed um, me bench pressing 410 pounds in a competition in front of a big crowd. Um, it was a local meet and you know i did pretty good I, I won my weight class at that time to put it into perspective i was around 260 pounds right now i'm about 216 pounds so obviously i'm a lot lighter i'm not as big um and i never plan to get that heavy again because i'm not in that sport of powerlifting. mass moves mass i don't need to be that strong anymore and that brings me to the topic of kratom and masking pain and I do believe I messed myself up during that five or six year window while taking Kratom and still lifting heavy weights. And what I mean by that is that first, that clip of the video, um, when I was powerlifting or doing a powerlifting event, I was not taking Kratom at that time, never even knew what Kratom was. It wasn't until later on that year when I broke my elbow, because that video was shot. And um, the same year that I broke my elbow shortly after is when I broke it. But I didn't know about Kratom until later that year. I started to hear about it and it would come up again from fitness influencers, people that I'm, I'm, I'm following. And they were talking about it and I didn't pay no attention to it until um, the year after. And that's when I started to dive into it and start to research it and start to experiment and take it with myself. And um, at that time, the only pain that I've always had nagging shoulder injuries on my left side because that's a typical weightlifter. We always have our left shoulder hurting for whatever reason that is. But I have my elbow. And while I was taking the Kratom, I was able to bench again. Um, I wouldn't feel any pain in my shoulder or my elbow. Um, I was able to do a lot of things. I was able to squat again because I was having a hard time back then um, barbell squatting because I wasn't able to get my, um, because of my elbow, I wasn't able to get that barbell because the pressure of it. Will just kill but i was able to squat again i didn't deadlift though after that competition i swore off deadlifts and i still believe in that deadlift is in my opinion this is just my opinion you know don't murder me for this but deadlift the risk to reward ratio is just not there unless you're a competitor and i'm not a competitor i just did that for that reason there's actually a funny story behind that well funny a real story behind that during that competition i won my weight class and i actually proposed to my wife at that gym that day when they handed me my trophy me and the gym owner we had a, a little agreement on it and you know I made it work pretty good so anyway taking Kratom during my lifting career for the past five or six years um, has masked a lot of pain then even during that time I would feel pain but it wasn't enough to stop me from working out because I could take the dose and still work out at least you know 70% and now that I'm off the Kratom, I have a really bad shoulder, my elbow kills, my knee and my hip. You know, it, I'm just always in pain during my lifts now. I can't squat anymore. And, you know, towards the end of my, my Kratom journey, I was actually swearing off squats too and just switching to more like assisted, like the assisted squat and um, on the belt squat instead of the barbell squat because I would get less pain from it but the thing is is your body telling you that you're in pain sending that pain signal to your brain is a sign to stop what you're doing and reevaluate and on kratom i wasn't doing that i wasn't taking the time to reevaluate because it was masked so much and i do believe now i messed up because of that and you know that's another reason why i look at myself and instead of having my big bigorexia come up because I, I i i look at myself now and i see you know, a very small man, and I know that I'm not, but I see that, and I compare myself to others that I shouldn't compare myself to, and that messes with me, but right now, what I need to do, and what I'm trying to focus on, and what I tell myself every day is, that's not me no more, I physically can't do that anymore, and, you know, I'm in my 30s now, I'll be 32 in September, and I need to prioritize health, and, you know, um, that goes with not being crazy big anymore because the bigger you are, your heart doesn't know that you're holding on to fat or muscle. It just knows that we're carrying this weight and I gotta produce and pump the blood to where it needs to be pumped to. So if I'm 260 pounds, 
walking around constantly, out of breath, not able to tie my shoes, doing all this stuff. And I work a job where I'm constantly on my feet, up and down ladders. Again, I'm an electrical apprentice, so I'm doing a lot of cool things, but I need to be in tip top shape for it. So there's no reason for me to be that big. And I need to get my mental side in that game and understand that, hey, it's okay to be healthy and fit. You don't have to walk around looking like, you know, a mass monster and you know, I need to bring my head to that. And back to the Kratom topic, Kratom kind of masked that a little bit too while I was dieting down. Cause I'm, I'm always dieting. I'll either bulk up for a bit and then cut down. And taking Kratom kind of, again, puts you in an autopilot and it makes it to where you, I can see myself in the mirror a little bit differently. I'm not saying I will like what I see in the mirror, but I'm able to ignore the mirror from time to time. And that kind of helped with my, my mental health back then while dieting, because I'm a head case when it comes to this shit. Anybody who works out and tries to build muscle, you know, you never satisfy with what you see. So that's where I'm at with it. But now since I'm off the Kratom, I don't take ibuprofen, aspirin, things like that um, for pain, unless I have a headache, but for, for body aches and pain, because there's just no, there's no reason for it. It's not healthy to do that kind of stuff. And I was taking Kratom, not for the pain, mainly for the mental aspect, but I was taking Kratom and the pain was going away and it made it easier to, excuse me, do those kind of things. So I'm going off on a rant here, I shouldn't be. But in my opinion, I messed up. I messed up bad. I was masking the pain with Kratom while I was working out, even though that wasn't the reason why I was taking it, it was doing it for me. And you know, now I gotta deal with it. I gotta live with it. I have these injuries I gotta work on um, and try to make them better. But let me know what you guys think. Any of you guys that take Kratom um, before you go to the gym or if you take it, like I was taking it, just taking it daily and you were getting that benefit from the gym. What do you guys think as far as is it helping you with any type of pain? I know for sure it takes away from the mind to muscle connection because right now I'm getting the best mind to muscle connection. If I was going through a growth phase right now, trying to get big, trying to put on muscle and eating all the food and doing all that stuff, I'm telling you, I could probably do it pretty easy because I'm feeling everything I'm doing in the gym now and I don't need to go that heavy. But right now I'm focused on building that mind to muscle connection back up, really feeling the squeeze in the gym, feeling the pump and having a good time with it. And, you know, I am training a little bit heavy. I'm not doing any compound lifts. Like I said, I'm not benching. I don't, I'm not squatting right now because I can't and I don't deadlift, but I'm doing a lot of cool things to try to hold on to the muscle that I have. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, what you guys take before you go to the gym. Does it help you? And if you're trying to quit, know that you're gonna have a whole host of things possibly when you come off Kratom. So just prepare for that. I'm out.